Three times I have been shipwrecked. A night and a day I have been adrift at sea. There is another account of him being shipwrecked that comes after this account, which we can read in the book of Acts. So four times he was shipwrecked in all. He says, in dangers from rivers, dangers from robbers, danger from my own people, danger from the Gentiles, danger in the city, danger in the wilderness, danger at sea, danger from false brethren, in toil and hardship through many sleepless nights, in hunger and thirst, often without food and cold, in cold and exposure. When we read uh, a list of things like this, it makes us feel, what have we really got to complain about in life? And we also have to ask ourselves, what have we really suffered for Christ? This list makes me feel two things. Firstly, that I am so grateful that the Lord has never asked me to endure anything like those type of things that Paul had to, had to suffer. He could have, of course. He could have asked any one of us to suffer like that. But thankfully, he hasn't. And secondly, I wonder if I was ever in those type of situations, would I react in the same sort of way as this great apostle Paul has to endure such things for Christ? We can't just read this list, can we, and, and not be impressed with what Paul has endured for the Lord. And then Paul tells us of the great anxiety which he suffered on a daily basis in verses 28 and 29. And apart from other things, there is a daily pressure on me of my anxiety for all the churches, who is weak and I am not weak, who is made to fall, and I am not indignant, and am I not indignant? It really is hard enough on occasions to bear the burdens of one church with its ups and downs and the things that go on behind the scenes. So it's amazing to, to really think that this apostle was bearing the burdens of a dozen or so churches that he had planted throughout the Roman Empire. And as we read and reflect on this list of things, we have to ask the question, why would anyone put up with, with and endure all of this in a, in a life? If this is what Christianity can involve, what made this man willing to go through these terrible hardships and these trials and these dangers. He knew, of course, there would be great dangers from people who were in opposition to the faith. Because we know um, when, when Paul was one of the biggest threats to the church when he was a Pharisee, he was persecuting Christians, having him thrown in prison or even having them put to death. Paul knew all of this. So what was it that motivated him to persevere? Well, Paul gives us the answer to this in this very letter in chapter 5, verse 14. He says, For the love of Christ compels us. It was this gratitude that Paul had for the, for the risen Lord, who not only forgave him, but filled him and restored him. Paul knew that the Lord went with him into, into all of these trials, and the Lord sustained him as he went through them. To Paul, it was like having all of these hardships turned into joyous occasions. He looked upon it as a, a real privilege to serve the Lord. And this showed in, in the love that poured out from Paul as he, as he ministered to those around him. And as we 